smacking his balls like in tennis, sucking this dick till he finished. Now letting his semen replenish. Okay, okay, okay. I know what you're thinking. Is this guy for real? Is he actually doing another Reddit reading video? Yes, I am. I know. Everybody wants them. Everybody liked the r slash suddenly gay. And you know what? I liked the r slash suddenly gay. That's how my channel blew up. So uh, just one last hurrah. Let's go for it. One final r slash suddenly gay. Let's, let's get into it. I genuinely love and care about you guys, and that's the best way that I can describe it. You are like a whole bunch of kittens, and I love you! Not every creator will feel the same as me, and that's fine, but I'm being genuine every time I say it. I love you, and I care about you. No, he fucking doesn't. According to Twitter statistics, only a very small percentage of my fans are toxic, so if you generalize all of them, consider educating yourself. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Oh my god, I fucking hate this guy. This community has gone way too far. A bunch of mostly teenagers enjoying watching content creators and making friends with each other? I have never seen anything quite as disgusting. Hashtag cancel dream stands. Wow, that's probably one of the gayest ones I've read yet. Female content creators, when people comment, get a real job on their posts. Haha, <laughs> speaking for women. Absolutely love to see that he thinks women can't speak for themselves. I make an analogy about how I don't love my fan base like I love my family or best friends, but instead, more like I love cats, even if I don't know every cat, and people get upset and say it's creepy. Can't say anything without people taking you out of context nowadays. No, 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 no. It, it was creepy. You sounded like a Discord groomer, like, come here, kitten. My 1.16 run was just rejected after research due to it being too unlikely to verify. A video was made by a head mod and YouTuber, GeoSquare, using my name and clickbaiting cheating speedrun in order to get easy views. Definitely a response soon. Total BS. Now I can tell you guys, as an economics student, I've learned about statistics and looking at the data, Dude clearly fucking cheated. The luck that he got is literally trillions to one. Like, the, the odds of him getting the luck that he got, it's more likely that you're gonna get struck by lightning like 20 fucking times in a row and then just randomly get shot up into the sky and fall into Jupiter. Like, it's not going to fucking happen. He clearly cheated, he lied about the situation, and he's maintained that lie. He is gay. It's weird to obsess over people. Have them as your profile pic. Always tweet about them. Tweeted by Tom Brady 796 Six, four. Profile picture, Patriots logo. Currently wearing Tom Brady jersey. Most recent tweet, Brady's gonna pop off next game day. Okay, but here's the difference between that. You don't form a parasocial relationship with Tom Brady. You don't feel like you know Tom Brady on an emotional level, and in some ways he kind of knows you. That's completely different between YouTubers, Twitch streamers, and pro athletes. People know Tom Brady doesn't know them. Also, people don't make posts about Tom Brady showing a picture of him next to pictures of kittens. Like, oh, he's such, he's so cute. He's like a little kitten like this fucking post of George not found what the fuck is this this is awful you know at the end of the day I really have to just talk about how God, I'm not a gay man it's in his gym dream is I mean he's just he's like, like no, I'm, I'm not beating this dead horse to the ground there's absolutely no horse getting beat in my dreams just really fucking bad I just have to keep it going as long as I keep it fucking we don't use condoms this shit don't get dangerous not in my face now it's penis as fuck I lick 